Welcome to the Jews for Judaism's Choose Life, a counter-missionary study program. Are Christian missionaries really a problem? After decades of involvement in the Jewish counter-missionary field, this frequently asked question tells us at Jews for Judaism that there's still a lot more work that must be done. It's difficult to help our Jewish community to deal with a problem when so many are convinced we don't have one. As with most issues, it is important to clarify our terms. When we assume that all missionaries wear identifying t-shirts or come knocking at our doors at the most annoying times, there probably isn't much of a problem. But when we realize that anyone who seeks to sway us to their religion is a missionary, that's another ball game, as they say. According to a recent Pew Forum study on global Christianity, 30% of Americans are evangelical Christians. They firmly believe that everyone on the planet will spend their eternity in hell unless they get saved. They also believe that the most important thing they can do in their lives is help to bring the message of salvation to all people, relatives, friends, neighbors, roommates, co-workers, patients, clients, and others, including, and especially, the Jews. In a recent survey conducted by Jews for Judaism of over a thousand high school and university students, 81% reported that someone had tried to share their faith with them. This is why this video you are watching is so important. Written by Rick Halpern and edited by Rabbi Michael Skoback, this video is an invaluable resource for the Jewish community. This Choose Life, a counter-missionary study program, explains the motivations of those who seek to convert Jews, the reasons why so many Jewish people are vulnerable, and most importantly, what needs to be done to ensure that we always remain Jewish. Choose Life, the title of this video series, says it all. This presentation broadcasts the critical message that the stakes are very high for those Jews who embrace Christianity. The missionary message does to our souls what smoking 10 packs of cigarettes a day does to our bodies. This program also contains a passionate call for all Jews to take hold of the Torah, our tree of life, and let it nourish our souls. Although missionaries try to use our Torah against us by twisting its meaning and injecting their religion, Choose Life allows the Torah to speak for itself. Louis Pasteur, renowned 19th century scientist, stated, Fortune favors the mind that's prepared. Choose Life is an invaluable resource that firstly helps to inoculate the Jewish community against the missionary threat and secondly, to introduce countless Jews to the sweet and profound spiritual treasure that lies buried in their own backyards, our God-given tree of life, the Torah. So let's get started. When Christianity arose 2,000 years ago, the Jews who founded it believed that the Jewish Messiah had come and that the Jewish Bible must be viewed from a new perspective. Since that time, the Jewish people have had to contend repeatedly with Christian missionaries and their claims. Though missionaries insist that Jesus fulfilled numerous biblical prophecies, Judaism has always rejected their viewpoint. Why? This subject is one that few Jews have much knowledge about since it is rarely discussed. Unfortunately, when Jews are uneducated about their own Bible and are confronted with Christian missionary arguments, they often feel confused about what to say and what to believe. Why should Jews learn the response to missionary claims? The Jewish response to Christian missionary claims is relevant today for the following reasons. Most Jews at one time or another will be confronted by missionaries, whether in person through their literature or on the internet, their efforts to proselytize are massive, well-funded, and growing. What makes this a pressing issue today is that Jews 
are buying into Christian beliefs in unprecedented numbers. Certainly not every Christian is out to convert us. In fact, many are very respectful of Judaism and the Jewish people. Some Christians will ask us questions about Judaism out of a genuine curiosity, and we must know how to answer them. However, our focus in this study program is directed towards those who seek to convert us, and we must know how to answer them as well. Although you may not be susceptible to missionaries, someone you know could very well be, and you could make the difference in preventing them from falling into their clutches. Studying Christianity can be a powerful springboard for studying Judaism. Although we disagree with many of their beliefs, Christians do raise key issues. Who is God and what does he require of us? What is the biblical concept of the Messiah and the Messianic age? What about sin, atonement, and life after death? Are the Torah's laws still relevant today? Are the Jews still God's chosen people? Throughout these timeless debates, none of the claims or verses cited by today's missionaries are any different from those cited throughout Christian history. For 2,000 years, Jewish scholars have heard all their challenges and together with the vast majority of our ancestors rejected all of them, even if it meant certain death. Just because you do not have the answers to their questions does not mean that the missionaries are right, nor does it mean that Jews lack the answers. We do, in fact, have potent responses to all their claims. For a Jew, the choice between Judaism and Christianity is clearly one of those life or death, blessing or curse decisions that the Torah speaks about. We must know that God, through his Torah, gives us the vital information we need to choose life. This study program discusses the issues surrounding this decision, makes you better prepared for the missionary arguments, and hopefully fosters a greater appreciation for your own Jewish heritage.